In this video, I will explain the math behind pinning a lock in a master key system. A lock pinned in a master system can be opened by a regular change key or a master key. In a regular lock, the change key is inserted and lifts the bottom pins to the shear line, allowing the lock to open. When master pins are added to the lock, both the change key and the master key will lift various pins to the shear line, allowing both keys to open the lock. To figure out which pins to use in the lock, we use a simple math formula. The first step of figuring out which pins to use is to write down the change key code and the master key code. For this example, we will use the change key code of 53515 and the master code of 88243. The next step is comparing the two numbers and writing down the highest number. In the first column, 8 is higher than 5, 8 is higher than 3, 5 would be the next number, then 4, and 5. The next step would be to find the lowest number of the two codes. 5 is lower than 8, then 3, then 2, then 1, and then 3. The next step is to subtract the lowest number from the highest number. 5 from 8 is 3, 3 from 8 is 5, then 3, 3, and 2. The lowest numbers are your bottom pins. The subtracted numbers are your master pins. Using our example problem, you can see that the bottom pins and the master pins create a shoe line for the master key. The chain key will also open this lock. It is now time for you to work the math to find the correct pinning to allow the supervisor to open four offices using their master key.